Hi everybody, Broken Ebs here and welcome to today's video. Title of today's video is Windows 11 users are fucked. Yep, if you're going to continue to persist in using Windows 11, whether you're a home user or a business user, then you are just inviting an absolute metric arse ton of misery and woe into your computing life. A lot of people for a long, long while have said I'm a conspiracy theorist and full of shit. Well, not full of shit anymore, are we? Just saying. So I don't have the time or the inclination um, to show you what I want to show you and just how bad and vulnerable Windows 11 is going to be. And it's going to be bad enough and vulnerable enough on a personal user's desktop computer. But when you put it into the business world, wow, there's absolutely nothing that Microsoft are not going to know, be it on a personal or a professional basis. They're going to know everything. And I guess this is a bit of an indicator as to why people are dumping Windows and Mac for that reason and flocking to Linux. Let's just hope Linux doesn't go down the same road as Windows. So, as I don't have the time or inclination, because, oh yeah, just in case you didn't know, I run MX Linux and I run Linux Mint. By the way, I'm on Linux Mint. Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> just had to get that in there for all the Arch fanboys. And this is nothing to do with being a fanboy. This is nothing to do with being a distro hopper. I'm very, very happy with my MX Linux. I love it more than life. I'm also very, very happy with Linux Mint. I think it's a superb distribution. And I think it's a great, great choice for anybody wanting to dump Windows. And I hear all the Windows fanboys. Oh, it don't do this. It's not that easy. You can't. Bollocks. Bollocks. Utter bollocks. If you want to run Linux Mint on a daily basis, it's a very Windows-esque experience. I'm mightily happy you will be. Simple as that. So, back on topic. Why, why, why are Windows users fucked? Well, I don't really have the time to sit here and demonstrate it. A, because I'm not running Windows in the first place, so I can't demonstrate it. And B, because I don't have the will to install and set up Windows in a virtual box. So I'm going to let another superb guy out on the internet called Mental Outlaw hacking Windows Recall to see everything. I'll put a link to this video in the description. Go watch it. And I guarantee you people will flock over to, Win to Linux uh, from Windows even faster. You know, and there are YouTubers out there on the internet who will say they love Apple Mac and Linux is shit and Windows is amazing. Nobody's ever going to leave Windows for Linux. Believe you me, a lot of people are going to dump Windows and come over to Linux. And not just the personal dipshit user either. I think a lot of the corporate world are going to move over to Linux on the desktop. Especially once they realise that they can successfully free themselves from Office 365 and everything else. There's nothing to stop you running on Linux on the desktop and doing your coding and then accessing Azure in the cloud for, you know, all your program and your web services. There's nothing to stop you doing that. So these people that say, oh, well, you know, if you're a coder, you've got to be on Windows. Bollocks. Absolute bollocks. Never heard such a load of crap in all my life. Anyway, go and check this video out. Sit there, get yourself a cup of coffee or, or your favourite drink, your favourite tipple. And I think at the end of it, if you're still on Windows, you must be a computing fucking suicide jockey. Because this is at a really base level. Just imagine what's going to happen with this shit when the serious hackers get hold of it. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Thumb the videos up or down. I will see you for another wicked Broken Ebes video.